Welcome to the 11th video in the LaTeX Tutorials, a comprehensive series. In this video, we will discuss the comments and spacing which is coming under section 3.5 in my LaTeX book. So in order to exclude a phrase, a sentence or a paragraph, the percent symbol is used for excluding it. For example, if we are having this paragraph, copy, and we go to text studio, and here I write this under the literature review, and I just paste this. So I'm building this yeah, it will be visible now okay now as I build this it is showing me here the Einstein general theory of relativity nullified the concept of Newton's law of universal gravitation this never means that Newton's calculation were wrong, but the concept of gravity wasn't right. So if for example, we want not to include this sentence, so we will just write the percent symbol and shift 5 and it is there. We can see here that this one has changed its color means it has become passive or gray color and this one not so if I just click a big space then it means it is no part of that sentence it just was a direct copy paste so there was some breaking in it and here we can see that now this sentence is gray color and it will not be part of our writing so sometime Sometimes we need to write some comments for ourselves and not to include them in the printout. So it is here and it is not over here. This thing is also very important if in a given document at certain stage we want to include this thing so we don't need to write it again but we will just remove the Person symbol and here and it will be again there so anything we can do with this whether it's a word or a sentence or something we can exclude it from here so this is called commenting we comment that phrase or sentence and it is no more in our printout Now in section 3.5.1, we will discuss horizontal spacing. Multiple consecutive spaces are treated as a single space in LaTeX. It is unlike MS Word where you give double spacing and it is over there and it is very really ugly to see uh, some letters are spaced more than the required. In order but if this thing is required for our writing so we can do this thing the intentional can be done by pressing this approximate symbol is to be used like for example we like like this absolutely and then free with more space it will generate absolutely free like this now for example we go to over here and let's say that the Einstein's general theory of relativity we want to produce spaces here so if I do like this then I will see that LaTeX is not counting it you see they are the same spacing so this thing is uh, to do this thing we need to do with the approximate symbol like this 
and now we will see this each symbol is equivalent to one space and as we build our document now we can see that there is a space so the forceful or the compulsive uh, space can be generated with this and this is one of the benefit of the LaTeX that sometimes we do some unintentional spacing and in MS Word it reflects in our printout but in LaTeX it will not be reflected. Okay here in the horizontal space although I haven't written here but it will come down and we can give some specified instead of doing like this the approximate symbol or the force for uh, spacing we can do like this as well that this is einstein general relativity and here i can write slash h space so you see here it is giving me two option h space and h space tag so i select h space and let's say i am writing two inches so it will do like this so i can specify exact spacing as well that it is slash h space two inch this way i can give any spacing it can work uh, in different units as well like one millimeter one centimeter or let's say i write one inch then it will be spaced by one inch similarly we can do this thing by uh, including a command for example let's say after this which is here i just remove this one and i build my document so it is like this now let's say this sentence i want to move till the end so there is another command which i can write here backslash h fill and with h fill command this sentence as we build our document then you can see that this word has gone till the end so the word which will be coming after this and you want to move this to the last means horizontally it is to be felt mean it should come the last one then it will be like this with the h file command now let's move to section 3.52 which is vertical spacing now several empty lines are treated as one empty line double enter is required to start a new paragraph but a specified vertical space the v space is used and similarly we are having the v fill command as well like h fill so let's see how we can do this thing say i go to logic and here i remove all the commands from it and i again paste that thing by removing this percent so i build this and it is without any command here now let's say for example i want that this line which is this never it should start from a new line and if i do like this enter over here in the compiler then i see that it is not doing this so to do this thing means to make things enter we will write double slash double backslash will actually go to another line and this way if i do like this that i double enter this so with double entering we see that it is starting a new paragraph like here it ends and here it is starting a new paragraph this
tab or indentation is given to a new paragraph so double enter means it will start a new paragraph and one enter can be done with two backslashes similarly we can do the vspace command as well like i want this sentence which is the second sentence in this paragraph and i say v space and i select this one and let's say i do three inches down and i build this document and you can see that it has moved this paragraph or this sentence three inches down if i just press double enter here or uh, means this is the enter command here then i will see that there is an enter so one from there and then the spacing over here so three inch spacing from here or let's say i write like this and i press double enter here and you see that now this sentence has been moved three inches down so this enter is making one down here means the next row and this will make it three spaces down so after the full stop it counts for three inches and then one enter and then this one comes in similarly if i want uh, that uh, let me remove this thing and let's say i want to move this thing but the concept of gravity wasn't right let's say i want to move this thing till the end of this page so i build it and it is like this and now here i say slash v fill is like h fill there is a v fill and then there is a sentence and as i build it we see that this one is going this one is going only one step but if i place a double enter here let's see it has gone till the end but it seems it's starting a new paragraph so i just remove this one and double enter here double backslash here okay and it has given us an error that there is no line here to end so we cannot do like this we will have to go on with that one that after the wrong we are having v pal and it will move it down but uh, enter over here will make it like this means this will be moved to the end of the page so there are uh, two things one is the v space which you can give uh, some length while in the v fill it will fill all the space except means the sentence which will be at the end okay so this is for the all for the horizontal spacing and v spacing in the next video we will talk about the line spacing which is coming under section 3.5 3 in my book thank you for watching the video and stay tuned for the next video